Artemis is known as the hunter goddess in Greek mythology. This goddess has the bow and arrow as one of her symbols, her favorite weapon. Because of that, the goddess is usually depicted in the arts with her inseparable bow. The goddess of the hunt is the daughter of Zeus with her lover Leto, and she is Apollo's twin sister. But she was born one day before her brother and actually helped her mother deliver Apollo. When they were still babies, they and their mother were chased by the ignominious snake Python, but that creature was killed by Apollo when he became an adult. One of the traits of the goddess is that she is a virgin deity. From an early age, the goddess made a vow of chastity after witnessing all the suffering her mother had endured to bring Apollo into the world, and she remains pure for all eternity. For having helped her mother in childbirth, women in ancient Greece prayed that the goddess would help them during labor. Although she was born in Delos, the sacred island of the twin gods, Artemis dwells in the forests and mountains of Arcadia. Artemis was regarded as the goddess of wildlife. She was truly passionate about the art of hunting and wandered through the woods in search of the most glorious prey. The goddess was followed by a procession of wild and oceanic nymphs, her companions. All her companions also had the duty to remain virgin and pure, not to smear the image and reputation of the virgin goddess. One time, while the goddess and her nymphs were bathing in a fountain, they were spotted by the hunter Actaeon. He was dazzled by the divine beauty of the goddess of the hunt. But the goddess did not allow herself to be raped by the profane gaze, fixated on her naked body, which no man had ever seen. The goddess turned the hunter into a deer, and then he was chased by his own hunting dogs, who caught and shattered him. Like a good hunter, the goddess also had her own hunting dogs, from which no prey could hide. But the animal that represented the goddess of the hunt was the deer. Artemis captured some and tied them to her carriage. Sitting on it, pulled by sacred bucks, the goddess flew through the air. Agamemnon, the great leader of the Achaeans during the Trojan War, sacrificed one of Artemis's sacred deer, and, if that wasn't enough, he claimed that not even the hunter could kill that animal with his accuracy. This enraged Artemis, who, as punishment, prevented the Greek army from leaving for Troy. To make great peace with the goddess, Agamemnon had to sacrifice his beloved daughter, and only after such a sacrifice, the Greeks set sail for war. The goddess's most ruthless side was also shown when Niobe proudly stated that her children were more beautiful than the descendants of the goddess Leto. Apollo and Artemis punished Niobe, killing all her sons with accurate arrow strikes. According to some versions of the myth, Artemis was particularly fond of Orion, a talented and giant hunter. But Orion was killed by Artemis after a trick pulled by Apollo, who deceived the goddess, jealous of that relationship. In another version, Orion attempted to rape Artemis, and so she sent a huge scorpion to kill the giant. The goddess was also depicted as a lunar goddess, like her brother Apollo, who took Helios' place as the sun god. Artemis occupied the position of the goddess of the moon, replacing Selena. According to other versions, Artemis, Selena, and Hecate were all lunar goddesses since each goddess represents a moon phase. Artemis is one of the most adored Greek deities in ancient Greece. Several cities were consecrated in honor of the goddess, and throughout the Hellenic world, there are countless temples edified to worship the goddess. Nevertheless, the most famous is undoubtedly the glorious temple of Artemis in Ephesus. The great temple was so majestic that it was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. In the temple of Ephesus, located in Asia Minor, the goddess was worshipped differently. There, she was seen as a goddess of fertility, and her image with multiple breasts symbolized her ability to raise men. The goddess was revered in ancient Rome with her Latin name of Diana, whose main temple was on Mount Aventine. With the expansion of the Roman Empire, her cult spread throughout Europe. 
According to some versions of Arthurian legends, the famous Lady of the Lake descended from Diana, the goddess of the hunt in Rome. Artemis is an ambiguous goddess. Sometimes she is generous and benevolent. However, she can also be ruthless and rancorous. This duality makes her one of the most interesting goddesses of Greek mythology.